And I just heard that you black people that was stolen from Africa to America, that you don't know who you are, but you are the children of, of Yahweh, the children of Israel. And I'm telling you, you have to come back to your homeland, here to Zion, to Jerusalem, because as the Gentiles, we do need you. We need you to come and pray because you are our saviors. You the one that was chosen by Yahweh to live in this land, not the Jewish people, it's you. You were stolen from Africa, they deceived you, they told you that you are slaves, but you actually the children of Israel. And it's time just to come, come back. Come for, for, for your people, come back for us, come back for the whole Gentiles, because only you, only you gonna save us. So please come back to Zion. Uh, Khan, all, all praises, all praises. From the nations and their gods, verse 24. For you has confirmed to yourself your people Israel to be a people unto you forever. And, the, and thou, Lord, are become their God. So who are Israelites your God chosen people? You know what I'm saying? You probably figuring that I'm thinking like, why and how do we know that we're the Israelites, right? notice um, signs that the Most High left for us in the Bible to let us know so we can identify and say, yo, we are the people because we fit these curses. Right. You right. understand? You know what I want. It's, it's the book of uh, Deuteronomy, sure. chapter 28, I'm sorry, verse 45. No Moreover, all these curses, all these what? All these, these curses, curses. So curses a good thing or a bad thing? Right. Shall come upon you and shall pursue you and overtake you. Till you be destroyed. Till you be what? Till you be destroyed. Because you hearken not unto the voice of the Lord your God to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded you. Mm -hmm. Verse 46. And they, the curses, shall be upon you for a sign and for a wonder and upon your seed forever. Forever. See that? So because his people, who is the Israelites, or you and all these brothers up here, because we didn't listen to their commandments, we was gonna be cursed. Mm -hmm. You understand? So we could show you some curses. Just to prove it, get the data. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring you into Egypt again. So Egypt again, Egypt is synonymous with bondage. Right. With ships. With ships. So what people came here to America and ships? Not, not, not just the Africans. Not just the Africans. Right. You ever heard of the um, sub saharan slave trade? Bring it out. Transatlantic uh, slave trade? Bring it out. You want to know who was on there? We will. Take a wild guess. Everybody. 
<laughs> they go wild guys. Uh, Everybody on this song right here. Y'all was already in the Dominican, right? Mm -hmm. They took y'all to Europe. They took y'all back to Africa, right? Probably took y'all to there from um, Spain and Portugal as well to meet the service. That's right. That's right, man. That's right. Continue. Right? Back into each of the game with ships. Right. By the way, we're up, I speak unto you. You shall see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemy. You'll be sold unto your enemies. Now you know the people who we were sold to, right? Who? Oh, let me know. There you that's go. Right. That's, that's right. right. And what did the most, um, what did, um, <laughs> what did the most <laughs> high call them? Bring it again for them, huh? And you shall be sold unto your enemy. Mm -hmm. Joe? So the white man, so-called white man will be considered what? Go right. That's what, that's what God said, bro. Nah. For bond men, for bond men, and bond women, uh, women, and no man should buy you. No man should buy you. Nah. That's wickedness, right? Mm -hmm. That shit don't bother your soul. That your forefathers and foremothers is just treated like cattle, just sold off. That shit is wicked as hell. You know what I'm saying? It's your, it's your, it's your it's your verse, verse forty-eight. Therefore shall you serve your enemies. So who? Serve your enemy. Put that word enemy again. Which the Lord shall send against you in hunger. In uh -huh. hunger. You ate today? <laughs> about, about to get busy. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you know, when we get in our food and all that, when we go grocery shopping, all these big supermarkets, Walmart, yeah. uh -huh. Market 52, whatever that shit is called. Right. You know where you copping from, right? Think our people own them, them big ass companies and all that? Right. From who? That's uh -huh. right, our who? Start with the letter E. There you go. And hunger. So we gotta serve our enemies in hunger. What else? And and thirst. And in thirst. Same shit. Same thing. This is my favorite, this is my favorite water right here. I would I wish and pray one of my brothers from any of these tribes would be the owner of this company. That's right. Uh -huh. get these billions and trillions of dollars. Uh -huh. But no, who get it? The who? There you go, the enemy, you gotta serve him for months. It keeps going though. Uh -huh. And the nakedness. And the nakedness, man. Uh -huh. Close on our back. That's right. But you know, we never rock Sean John. I don't know how old you is. You mess with Sean John back in the day? Oh, no, rock rock away. You mess with that? That long? Well, remember that? And all that? You think that, that was they um Clothing, you think they own Rockaway and Sean Jones? Fubu. Sure, Fubu. Behind the scenes, right? Behind the scenes? You sure? Sure. <laughs> but you know what's the thing called the textile? Uh, what is it called? Textile? Uh, textile? Yeah, textile. Yeah. So, the, yeah. so the main textile manufacturers, right, are Caucasians and Asians. Those are enemies. Alright, so our people do not own that. That's where the clothing really starts. Right there, without that, we're not gonna get the lid. They just be the face of this shit. Right, make us feel like whatever, give us little crumbs and all that, right? Awesome. So, so, in nakedness, we gotta go to our enemies. It keeps going. And, and what of all things? And what? And all things. What of all things? That was just a few. You gotta go to your enemy to get a death certificate, okay? That's wicked as hell. Hold it, baby. Wipe your ass. You gotta go cop from your enemy. Driver's license. What else? You can't leave this fucking country. You gotta go get a passport from your enemy. Job, college, um, education. This shit don't stop, man. And that is a wicked place to be. But that's how you show, and these are some of the curses that let you know who our enemy is. You understand? Okay. And he, the enemy, shall put a yoke of iron upon your neck uh -huh. until he have destroyed you. So he have destroyed you. What that sound like? And these people get a yoke of iron upon their neck. I think. I don't know what Literally. Literally. That's slavery. Right? Look. Dude, you got the picture right there for you. The iron the yoke around your neck. Oh. So, you see what they did to us physically, they just broke us down, had the yokes on our neck. So we were physically broken down. And then when they realized, oh, we got them mentally too? Alright, now we can take this shit off. Because we already got them. We're destroyed. We're destroyed. Can you pull up how we living? 
in um, in the city, in the fields, because we live in foul, brother. Yeah, it's crazy. It is crazy, man. Yes, sir. This is verse 16. Curse shall you be in the city. Curse that you be in the city. Just like I was saying to you, man. You look around. This shit is filled with drugs and things. Our brothers and sisters out here like zombies. That shit is sad, man. They are family, believe it or not. Look, you know, it was a shooting yesterday. So was a shooting before that. I'm sure everywhere you go, every city here in America, even across the world where our people is at, it's wickedness, bro. We in the slums, we in the wild. Uh -huh. This shit ain't right. And others is tight, and that shit light a fire up underneath it, man. For real. They don't see this curse. And curse shall you be in the field. Curse shall we be in the fields. What that sound like to you? When you think of fields and our people being cursed in the fields, what word come to mind? Fields. Think about it. Curse in the fields. I was just, uh, you think the football field? Uh, <laughs> curse in the football field. Uh, curse there too, though. <laughs> 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 I, I, I think you have to free label. That's, that's, yeah, that, nah, that's true. Yep, that's what, true. What was free label? What kind of free label we gave our enemies? Uh -huh. Start with an S. I'm giving you clues now. Let's start with an S. Go to me. Yes, sir. Personal fields, the cotton fields, the sugar cane, tobacco fields. Plantation in general. Tobacco fields, cotton fields, come on. That's free labor. That's free labor right there. Mm -hmm. Let's go. So this is the book of Isaiah 42, 22. Bring it out. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Mm. They are all of them snared in holes. Mm. And they are hid in prison houses. Woo. Prison houses. Who take up the majority of the prisons, man? Oh, man. That's the body that's on here. The that's Israelites. Right. Right. I don't know if you've been up north. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is slavery, too. Wow. It never ends. It never stops. That was all for that? Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? These are the things that let you know that you're an Israelite, brother. So, um, do you know any commandments? Or are you just like a believer? I just believe that. I believe in a higher power. So, I believe in a higher power or Yahweh side of the world ain't nothing really called Jesus. So, I believe in Jesus. You got to explain that to me. There's many false gods out here, bro. Growing up, growing up, I was raised in Christian. Now, I'm pretty much. Uh, in my religion that I have now, I'm trying to, I'm trying to What's that? Uh, this is believing, I believe in God first, but I also believe in like angels. Yeah. 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 I mean, so it, it means you gotta come back to the one true God, to the Bible. This is where it starts and this is where it ends. Right here, nothing else, man. You got free time off? Uh, yeah, what you got? Yeah. Sirach 24, 23. Come back to the end right here. This is the book of Sirach 24, 23. All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God. So we dealing with the Most High God. It's the book of the Most High God, right? Right. Even the law which Moses commanded for inheritance. So this book of the commandments is a heritage. This is our tradition. This is our culture. Unto the congregation of Jacob. And Jacob is the Israelites. Right. So this this whole Bible is by us and for us. Inspired by the most high God. Right. So it's much deeper than what you say because you mentioned religion, right? This is not a religious book. I won't find the word in here. Like the brother just brought out. This is a heritage. You understand? This is our history. This is what you got to tap into, brother. So you stopping to hear this world is a blessing. This is your chance to change. This is your chance to get the truth out. You know what I'm saying? So you can't, I don't know if there's things you got to do or whatever you want to do. But there's things you got to do to show yourself love it is an action. You can't just say, I love my God. I believe in my God. There's things you got to do. It's what you got to do. It's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and 13. Yeah. 
Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. Do what? Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. That's the whole duty of man. So we can ultimately get the kill, which is heaven, right? So that's what we're here for. So we're here for an impunct. Doing what we gotta do. We ain't talking it, we walking it. Right. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And that's what it's about, bro. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta understand the Christian church, they teach us that heaven is in the sky. Oh, yeah. But the Bible says heaven is on earth, right? Let me read this for you. Revelation chapter 5, verse 9. No, yeah. verse 10, right? Um, it has, we talking about the most high. It has made us, right, the Israelites, unto our God, kings and priests. And we shall reign on earth. See that? So when Christ comes back, as it is prophesied, he's coming back during World War III. I don't know, I don't, I don't know if you know what's going on Talk right now. Real quick, but this shit turning up over there. Shit is going crazy. Iran, Israel, Israel right. and Hezbollah, right. right? You got damn Ukraine and Russia. You got South Korea versus North Korea. You got um, damn China and, and Taiwan, right? It's threats going, oh, you do this, you send a nuclear bomb. Right. So this shit turning up. And it says in the Bible, 2nd Edges 13, Matthew 24, this is turning during World War III, brother. So it will move you, right? To learn more about our, it's our heritage. This ain't no religion. Right. Right? And get right to the most high. Learn these commandments. Come gather with your brothers. I um, mean, contact them. But we're here for you, brother. All right? The most high sent you over here. Well, the ways of a man is not of itself. Right. The Bible says. Right? He controls us. Right. Uh, I got a question. Okay. So, you mentioned something about your religion, right? Um, what's the difference between Islam and Christianity? Because Islam is originally from Catholic. This is what the book is talking about. The book is talking about us. 
and that doesn't pertain to everybody. You know what I'm saying? So there is a separation. Once you, once you, once you find out there's a separation, there's God chosen people, and there's, there's just people that exist, they're doing their job. You know what I'm saying? All this madness that's going on, that's what the Lord created them for. You know what I mean? But these people that He's chosen, they have a list of things that He wants us to do. He wants, he wants us to serve Him a certain way. Right? So for example, it's the Sabbath. You know, so during this day, there's no buying, no selling. I'm saying no work. I'm saying no cooking, no lighting any fire. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is this is one of the holiest days out of the week. Every week we have to do this. Okay. Every week we have to do this. Because I just really wanted to ask you about your belief as far as your religion goes, because according to what we just um, discussed with the firm, we know what the enemy is. So you gotta remember your enemy is crafty, slick. You know what I'm saying? And in order for him to deceive you, he would go any way he would. You know, so just understand that don't get caught up with religion and heritage. There is a difference. You know what I'm saying? Heritage and bloodlines in your race. So granted, even if you ain't hear it yet, now you hear it. It's unrecognizable because you've been into everything else for so long. You know what I'm saying? Now when you hear it, it's like, oh, what is this? Yeah, this is home. This is home. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, what's your name, King? Troy. Troy. Isaiah. Yeah, now we here. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I just want to ask you about that. So here, our enemy cannot join the family because this is his heritage, it's already in us. They can't join the Islam. You know what I'm saying? It has nothing to do with them. Yeah. You know what I'm and they can't get grafted in either. You know what I'm saying? So religion, anybody can come in. You know what I'm saying? I'm on your side now. Talk to your religion. Nah, heritage, nah, man, got dress code. You know what I'm saying? We have, we have laws and statutes to live by, to keep. You know what I mean? Uh, and things to teach us our offspring so they don't forget. You know? Yeah, yeah. So, brother just said, right? This is Jeremiah 17 and verse 4. Even thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. You agree we serving our enemy? Right? Alright. So it says it says we're gonna get discontinued from our heritage. We don't know. We didn't know who we was before we came up here. Right. We asked you. We, all we know is what our enemy gave us, right? So, um, and serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. So why, why, why is it we have religion? It's all about love. But if we're being disobedient to the creator, like, like, let's be deep because most religions swear they're deep. The sun, right? It gives us light. It makes the crop grow. You know, it gives us abundance of things. It gives us warmth. Somebody created. Yeah, someone created it, right? Mm -hmm. How do you show your obedience by being disobedient to the Creator, making other religions, not following in His ways that only benefit you? Right. You can't do nothing for the Creator. Right. But you can do for Him, and He'll look at you as His chosen, as He said you are, and. We will fight your battles with you, but we want to, oh, well, this sounds good. Let me rock with this. You know what I mean? But how do you want to rock with something when you, you you can agree that your enemy has put us in this predicament who's, who's ruling over us? And do you believe that your people's blood has been shed on this land? Right. Okay. Let me read this, right? Uh, this is, um, it's like it. Numbers 35 and verse 33. No. So ye shall not pollute the land where you are. For blood, it defileth the land, right? This is the solution, right? And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed. So we agree that our people's blood has been shed on this land, right? But the blood of him that shed it, man. How, it, sound, it might sound a little harsh, right? But how can anything change when the people that's still spilling out blood on this land right. is raining if their blood doesn't spill, is the only there's nothing will ever change. Nothing will, and this is what God said. So we're gonna listen to man, or we're gonna listen to God. God obviously knows better. Think about seriously. You know what? Let's all just kumbaya. Are we still gonna get gunned down every day? Are, 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 the, are the court systems? Is, 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 is the cops? Is, 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 is it gonna change? Is tax gonna go down now? Or is it gonna keep going up? Are they gonna keep moving us out the hood and keep putting us in the ghetto? Every time we come together, are they not gonna bring us? How how can we accept this? 
how can you how can I say not not you but how can I say I love my people if I accept that and I know they're gonna do this to my people? Like why we just don't come together? We don't even have to do anything. Why we just don't listen to God and come together and become stronger? No, we'd rather become stronger with them, and that's what they want because all well, we are are good slaves and servants. As soon as you, you think they really don't like, they're the coolest people in the world. Sometimes I have a couple of associates, right? Second day disagreement, you don't think they told the black monkey bitch. It's in there, it's floating in their head. It's in their blood, right? You kind of fucking gangster. You know, like why? You're a gangster, you can't even kill my people. You robbed our biggest you, gangster. You stole our identity. Was the, was the Indians not slave over here? Who calls themselves Indians now? White people. We get braids, they want braids. We right. go bald headed, they go bald headed, right. right? Like, they follow us in, in everything. They steal it and copyright, and they get all of it. Like, we still get the crumb. You're not tired of that? That doesn't make you a little bit like, I, like, you don't feel like you got a better purpose and like, you deserve everything. But why they just get everything they have about it? And, oh, why don't you forget slavery? Did they forget 9 11? They tell you forget slavery, right? That's uh, over with. Holocaust, they Holocaust. still talk about 9 11, right? Hey, Holocaust, yeah, Holocaust, Holocaust, right? Uh, when, when, when was the Holocaust? Well, help me out. Uh, uh, no, World War II, right? Right, right. World War II, you really lose 5 million Jews, Jewish people, and they reimbursed them. Where's our reimbursement? Right. We built this country. Right. The Jews didn't do it. Uh, the Jewish. Right. Jewish people didn't do it. Right. They got paid. Where's our pay? Right. And you know what? It says, Deuteronomy 28, what it says. And they will read, read that last verse, uh, uh, six, uh, uh, the slaves and uh, bond yeah. men, bond woman. All right. um, verse 68, Deuteronomy 28. <clears throat> last part. Do yeah, the last yeah. part. Um, you shall be, you shall see it no more again, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond woman, and no man shall buy you. Right. So they always talk about the Jewish people are the children of God. Right. They already got bought. They own everything. So how can that be them when it says no, who, who's buying, who's like, yo, you know what? Many kids did all this, let's give them what they deserve. Preparation. Nobody. Black people, listen, nobody. Right. The native Indians, you know what they did to the native Indians? Yeah. You know what Mount Rushmore? That's where they shipped all of them at. This was their land. In Dakota, they're the highest alcohol rate because every day the Indians open their window and they gotta see them niggas. This is their land and they right. gotta look at them. Mm -hmm. That's not wicked. That's right. That's wicked. And we still wanna be their friends and shake their hands. You know what I mean? And they taxing us on everything, man. I went to the, the damn uh, market GMOU um, the other day and one uh, roll was $4.99. One roll. No, they didn't put butter on it. <laughs> and they had a nerd to seal it. What's that? <laughs> right, what up? This is madness. And we're just gonna keep accepting it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're just gonna keep accepting it, but I brother. I just wanted to add on to that. If you agree, like their blood, you know, our heritage, you know. The Bible, hold up, let me get one more. Check it out. Uh, yeah. Psalms. I should have went there first, right? Psalm 83, right? Uh verse 2. For lo thy enemies make a tumult. They that hate thee have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. That's our people, right? But listen, and consulted against thy hidden one. Who do you think is the hidden one? Just, you know, you know, you want to take a guess. I just want to ask you so you can understand this. They took a crafty counsel against thy people and their hidden ones. You know who the hidden ones are? Huh? No. We, we are the forgotten ones. <laughs> Even though they know us, they want to keep us forgotten. So, you know, that's why. Why you think they come out with uh, still? Appreciate Jordan don't more. even play no more. Well, and, 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 well, and they got a hundred colors coming out every year. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it's to keep us stuck in that. But, thy hidden one, the children, and women. That's, that's a man's, you know, my wife and my kids. You go to your damn house, and your kids and wife is somewhere else, bro. They cook counsel on them. You're not gonna agree that women are. Well, I don't know what they are. You see these children, they're lost. The right. next generation, like, 
you would you say you, you growing up was a little hard? You don't think this is gonna be worse? How they moving? Right. This is in the Bible. They said they've been taking crafty counsel against thy people and they hidden ones. So you sad. can see that today. You see what I'm saying? You can see it. Like and they are doing and it tells you, right? Uh uh. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel will no more in remembrance. Nobody remembers that. But see, we, everything you was reading today is Israelites, Israel, Israel. That chart, those people don't know. Before Dominican Republic, so Duran, brother, that was the Big Bang, oh, Dominican Republic? Nah, right? So where was you before that, though? We was all, if you notice, we all, like, yo, if, if, if you got a sister, and I got a sister, and we married both of them, our family would look, you couldn't tell the difference. How are we not the same thing? But they tell us, they separate us. Can you imagine if all these people on the chart came together? Who can stop us? But they separated us, and that made us weaker. Dominicans always argue with Puerto Ricans. Same people. Same people. Y'all, they, they beefing with the Haitians and, and, and y'all really brothers, you know what I mean? If, if you go to Haiti, because there's Dominicans in Haiti, you right. can't tell who's who. Oh, that's right. But, but they, they, but they, I more Haitian. Nah. Nah, no, you, 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 listen, when you said Simi, I knew you was something different, like after dealing with Dominicans and, and all that, I can tell what my people look like, right. but, but at the end of the day, they separate us so bad, like, like it, it, it's a disdain. Like, oh, I don't like that nigga. How? How? And you know why? Our enemy is like that. Right. We're following our enemy's ways. Um, you know what I'm saying? And then you say, oh well, this white on white crime. It should be because they're savages. Right. How could we be savages if they came into our land and we welcomed them and then they took everything? Thanks. You stirred the pot. Now we want to be on defense mode. Oh, you're evil. Oh, oh, you're wicked. Oh, don't cuss. You may curse words. What I'm gonna do, use them. Right. You made it. <laughs> right? This is madness. This is madness. You made it. Don't say shit. You know, like, what? You made it a word. It's in the dictionary because of you. And y'all use it all the time, but when I use it, oh, profanity, you know? Disorderly conduct. It, it's, it's made to, to keep our brain. They don't want us to elevate. They don't want us in. They don't like the fact that we're talking right now. They don't like that we're up here right now. Right. But that's what God wants. But uh, that's the only way we get out. Right? What did it say? So, it's Zephaniah 2 and 1. Real quick. It's the God, book. Bring that out. It's Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yeah, gather together, O nation not desire. Not a nation desire. So what we got to do, we're supposed to gather together and build them. That's going to make us favorable and desirable back to the most obvious. Right. He, 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 we turned our backs on him. He said, yeah, we want to serve other stuff. We want to go over here. We want to go play ping pong with, with an Edomite. You know, we want to do all this on the Sabbath. You know, like these are things that we want to do. Go back to our people. That's what the love is. And they need it more than anything. Our people don't need no love, bro. They, you think they need love? They need hugs? They hug, they, they go hug their pills and their needles and, you know, crack, right? Huh. That's all, they, they don't need it. We need it. And, and, and who's gonna come help us? We gotta help each other. And, and the Bible, like I said, gather together. That's all I wanna do, I wanna show you respect. That was my 10 cents with you, I, 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 I